We begin tonight with a local sheriff on the losing end of a First Amendment fight over a few clicks on his Facebook page. The battle went all the way to federal court after the sheriff blocked some Black Lives Matter leaders from his page. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live outside the sheriff's department with the judge's decision on this. Marley? Well, there's been an ongoing rocky relationship between the sheriff out here and Black Lives Matter, but in these court documents, the judge had the final say, and in this war of words, he said, let him fly. What happens on Facebook certainly doesn't stay on Facebook. In this case, it ended up in federal court. It is what it is, and I'm just anxious to see what happens next. Sacramento Black Lives Matter leader Tanya Faison took her Facebook fight with Sheriff Scott Jones to court after she noticed her comments on the sheriff's page were deleted, and then she was blocked from his page altogether. Were you saying things controversial for this to all happen? No, not at all. I barely said anything. Sheriff Jones argued in part that Black Lives Matter has other outlets to get their message out rather than using his page, which could harm his future campaigns. But in court documents, Judge Troy Nunley responded, regardless of plaintiff's ability to get their message out elsewhere, plaintiff's inability to post on defendant's Facebook page is a burden on their speech. Our elected officials need to be listening to their constituents, whether they agree with them or not. And that's part of the job that he applied for. So we reached out to the sheriff, his attorneys, and his campaign consultants for comment. The department spokesperson told me Jones was on vacation and wouldn't be available for comment until next week. According to court documents, Jones alluded to shutting his page down entirely should the court grant the injunction. To which Judge Nunley responded, such harm would be self inflicted. In any event, the harm of shutting down a Facebook page is far less than the harm of losing fiercely protected First Amendment rights. Finally, justice is on the right side instead of on the wrong side. Um, there's no reason for an elected official to silence the people that are considered his constituents, um, and that's what happened to us. So in conclusion, in these court documents, the judge ordered the sheriff to unban Black Lives Matter, keep them unbanned, and allow them to post as they do. And I did check in with Faison. She is able to get on the sheriff's page tonight. Interesting case. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sorting it out for us tonight, Marley.